Hi everyone, I am Suman. In this video, we will discuss another important operation in Pandas that is merge operation. So in the previous two videos, we have already discussed this join and concat operations, right? So even this merge operation is similar to that of those operations. So even this is to combine two data frames or series objects. So so first I will just import the necessary libraries here. So you can see you can see I just imported pandas and numpy. And I will just create two data frames. So you can see I just uh, created two data frames using the uh, dictionaries here. So I will just print those two data frames. So these are the two data frames which I just created. And now let's just, just try to apply this merge operation on those two data frames. So you can see I just use pd dot. So here you can see we just have the merge operation. I just use pd dot merge of. And if you just see the what are the arguments present in this merge operation. So you can see these are all the arguments available in this merge operation. So left, so left and right in the sense the two data frames which you have to merge, right? And how? How in the sense like how you have to merge those two data frames like whether you have to do the intersection operation or you have to do the union operation or you have to use the left data frame or the right data frame right if you want to do such operations you can just use this how keyword and similarly you can just have the so you can see we have the on keyword right in the sense like which column you have to use to merge those two data frames so you can just specify that using this on and you can see we have the left on and right on also in a sense, uh, what's the column you have to use in the left data frame and what's the column you have to use on the right data frame, right? So those are the two uh, other arguments like left on and right on. And also you can just see the suffixes, right? So in the sense suffixes, in a sense like if you want, like if you have two similar columns, like if you have similar columns in the both data frames, so you can just use these suffixes to differentiate those two data frames, right? The differentiate those two columns from the two data frames. So that's the use of the suffixes and that's about the arguments available in this like in the important arguments available in this merge operation and also you can see the explanation of this merge right so merge data frame uh, as you can see it just merge merge data frames and the series objects so and also you can just see uh, explanation of the complete explanation of those arguments available in this merge operation and you can see i'll just now let's try to merge those two data frames and I'm just using pd dot merge of and I'll just give data one and data two. So these are the left and right, right? We just seen uh, left and right. And I will just mention on is equal to ID. So you can see the ID is common in this both the data frames. So that's the reason why I'm just giving this ID. So I just want to confirm you, like I just want to clear you that. So in the even in the join operation, we just use it the on keyword there we just use this on uh, like when we just use this on it it only considers the keyword in the left data frame not on the both the data frames so but here in the merge operation it like if you specify a column name in the on keyword on uh, like on argument so that date the column name should present in both the data frames right so that you have to remember so i'll just give uh, pd dot merge so you can see it just uh, written uh, id values underscore x and values underscore y so you can see we have just seen right we have seen before so the index is like the suffixes the defaultly like defaultly the suffixes are underscore x and underscore y so if you want to change those suffix you can just change that so i'm, I'm not changing that and so defaultly you can see i just got underscore x and y and you, you you can see we just got only these three rows so these are the rows which are present in the like these are the rows uh, you can see these are the IDs of the right data frame, right? So the reason behind that is so why we didn't get the other two rows which are present in the left data frame. The reason behind that is so if you can see the arguments here, so we have the how keyword, right? So defaultly this how will be inner. So inner in the sense it's an intersection operation. So if you didn't give any argument, so defaultly it just takes inner. So that's the reason it just take it just consider the intersection of these two data frames. So the what are the IDs which are common in these two data frames? One, three, and five, right? So these are the three ID names which are like these are the three IDs which are common in these two data frames. So that's the reason why we just got one, three, five. 
so so that's about this uh, merging using this uh, inner operation and similarly if you I, I will just use p dot merge of data 1 and data 2 and now i will just spend uh, i will just specify how is equal to outer right so here in the previous case we didn't mention anything so it, it just defaultly takes inner operation so it just consider the intersection operation now i just given how is equal to outer outer in the sense it just performs the union operation so union like it will just uh, merge the rows in the two data frames if the id id matches like if the ids in the both data frame matches it will just merge otherwise it just return the unmatched unmatched ids right so that's the union operation so if you just you enter now 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 we should get the other two rows which are not like which are like other two rows which we didn't get in the previous case so if you just give enter so you can see we just got the five rows right so for the for these two rows like uh like id like id is equal to two and id is equal to four you can see we just got nand values since there are those two ids are not present in this uh right data frame so that's the reason we didn't like we just got nand values so that's how you can just merge using this uh, inner and outer similarly you can just mention the uh, like merge how is equal to left and right so we'll just use how is equal to a left here we just use enter so so we can see we just got so we just get the output right so when we when we do how is equal to left so it will just consider uh, all the ids present in the left data frame so so you can see the id is present in the left data frame are 1 2 3 4 5 right so it will just consider all those ids and for the ids then it will just check like for the ids present in the left data frame if there are any ids matching in the right data frame it will just merge those two otherwise it will just give the nand values right so you can see those you can see that operation so similarly if i just give how is equal to right right so when i just give how is equal to right so in the sense it will just consider it will just consider the ids in the right data frame so we can see the ids in the right data frame are 135 so it will only consider those two ids and it then it will just take after, after taking those three ids it will just check like for these ids whether is there any matching in the left data frame so if there is any matching it will just merge those two and it will just return that so that's this right operation and similarly we just have other arguments right let's try those so we have similarly we just have a left on and right on also so we will just try to use that so for that i will just remove these things i will just give left on is equal to like in a sense so what's the column you have to merge like what's the column you have to consider as a primary key in the left data frame so that's this left on so i'm just giving that so first if you can see the left you can see i will just give id right I will just give id and here in the right data frame right i will just give a right on right on is equal to i will just give I'll, so since uh, in the both the data frames you just have same columns so i will just create another column here in the right data frame so i'll just name that as index so if you, you can see i've just given 2 3 4 right i just given index as uh, index as 2 3 4 so i'll just you oh, let's run once again so if you can see the output now how the data 2 looks like so this is how it just looks so id value and index as 2 3 4 so now i will just use uh, write on is equal to index here right so what it will do means so you can see in the from the left data frame it will just consider this id and from the right data frame it will just consider the index so for what are the values which are matching in these two ids right so in the in these two columns it will just merge those so you can see we have two right so two two here so it will just merge this numpy and pandas and similarly we just have three right so it will just merge this sklearn and sklearn and similarly we just have four so it will just uh, merge this skypy and tensorflow so that should be the output right so if you can see the if you just give enter 
so you can see that's the output we got right so that's how you can just use like if you want to like instead of using the same like if you want to merge using two different column names in the two da two data frames so you can just specify that using this left on and right on and similarly i will just uh, similarly we have another argument right i will just give on is equal to like i will just i'm just taking the default one and we have the indicator right indicator so default it will be false and if I just give true here so you can see it will just specify you it will just give you like whether the indexes are present in the both data frame or it, it is present in only uh, left data frame or right data frame so for your better understanding I will just give how right I will just consider how is equal to outer now you can see so you can see if you can see this uh, indicator when you just give indicator is equal to true so it will just it will just give you it will just uh, tell you like whether this row is present like whether this index has, we are just using the index right so whether this index is present in both the data frames or this index only is present in the left data frame or this index is present only on the right data frame so it will just tell you so you can see this id is equal to 1 so it, it is saying that this id is equal to 1 is present in both the data frames and you can see the id is equal to 2 so it's just saying you that so this id is 2 is present only in the left data frame and you can see id is equal to 3 right so this 3 is present in both the data frames so similarly for the 4 and 5 so that's the use of this indicator so if you want to know like whether there is any like um common in those two data frames or not you can just use this indicator right so that's about this merge operation so i hope you understood like like how to merge data frames and so that's it for this video i hope this video is helpful for you if you feel this video is helpful like the video and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe and thanks for watching